Y'all, we are gonna be eating so good tonight. I asked you over on Instagram, what I should film today, I said, do you want casseroles or do you want sheet pan dinners? And it was so funny because at first, overwhelmingly, it was casseroles. Then it was like all the sheet pan people came in and it was like perfectly evenly split. So I said, you know what? I'll do one casserole and one sheet pan. But now this first recipe, I don't know if you consider it necessarily a casserole, but you bake it in a nine by 13, it's one pan. It's going to be amazing. Like, I feel like this is gonna be one of those indulgent meals <laughs> for sure that i have like been missing in my life and i'm so excited for it it's like a almost like a chicken lasagna no noodle bake right and i've been really <sighs> look i've been craving tomato sauce yes when i tell y'all this is the simplest recipe it takes like less than 10 minutes to throw together you bake it you're done like it could not get easier than this. Now, I have two chicken breasts. If you wanna use chicken tenderloins or you know whatever you have on hand, um, I did pound these out a little bit because I want them to be a little thinner just so they cook faster and more evenly. I am just, when you showed me these, I was so highly impressed by how well you got those like into the, the shape that we needed. You know what I used? That, first. that strength you got. <laughs> I was gonna get the oil and pan out and I was like, I'm just gonna use my fist and it actually worked way better, I yeah, feel like. Mm. How lovely is that? Okay, so to my chicken breast, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. And then we'll do some Italian seasoning. Yeah, not too much, because y'all know how Monkey feels about Italian seasoning. There's, just enough. It's just some applications, I don't like it, but when it's, when it's gonna come to this, it, You're gonna we're, love we're it. gonna be friends, yeah. Now, over here to like the concoction that is going to make this absolutely amazing, you already need some ricotta, some Parmesan cheese. I went ahead and like freshly grated this. We'll probably need more, but I got us a like head start. We're gonna need one egg, and then I'm gonna actually do some fresh garlic in mine if you just want to do like garlic powder you can and then salt and pepper and we're just going to mix that together now i do want to say i'm not measuring this obviously because when do i ever but i'm okay if there's a little extra of this because bunky and i are going to get the protein pasta again mm -hmm. which if you saw our like day in the life video yeah we love the protein pasta it's really good it really was it was you could not tell I, a difference. I couldn't tell a, a difference at all with that. So we thought this will actually be delicious if we make a little pasta on the side and put yeah. this over top of it, almost like chicken parm. Yeah, it's with this. I feel like the what's making it lasagna is the ricotta. Yeah, that's really the only component in it to me that's bringing the lasagna flair. Agreed. But we're gonna add like pasta underneath. So if I have a little bit more of this like creamy, delicious sauce, you know, all the better. I go ahead and get our oven going. Yeah. Um, preheat it to three seventy-five. Okay, I'm gonna crack one egg in here, and then I will throw in all of this parmesan. Ooh I know it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna do a little bit of the blend in here. And then our fresh garlic as well. I feel like fresh garlic just gives it like such a better flavor, you know? For sure. Like you can use garlic powder, but nothing beats like fresh garlic. Well, I like when, I like finding the, like I like knowing that those little bits are actually in there. Yeah. Like when you come across those little little nuggets of garlic. Oh, it's just the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're just gonna stir all of this together. And this is what we're gonna top our chicken with. So it's gonna keep it like so just like tender and moist in there. Wow, bonk. Does that look amazing? Goodness, we've got a cloud of ricotta going Oh on my here. gosh, I'm so excited. Full coverage. Yeah, so just take your ricotta mixture and basically do like half on each. I'm even just gonna put some in the pan, you know? What? Yeah, because it's gonna melt off of there anyway, a little bit. Now I'll just make it saucy you're with getting, our- You're getting wild. <laughs> you're getting a little bit wild over here. Okay, spread that out. Take your marinara, whichever one's your favorite, we have the rouse, and you're just gonna pour this right on top of that chicken. I'll pour a little extra in here, you know? Yeah. I know you love like some warm, warm sauce on your noodles. Yeah, when it bakes and it just 
transforms in there with all that magical heat. Oh my gosh, Bonk. This is going to be amazing. More Parmesan right on top. Are you like drooling? Yeah, you know what I love, <laughs> you know what I love about this now? What? It's like you, you don't even know the chicken's under there. I anymore. know, it's, it's hysterical. It's buried in just the delicious combination. I know. Now, y'all know we were not done. We're also gonna add mozzarella to the top. And then this is it. We're just going to bake this in the oven at 375 for like 35 minutes. Dinner is ready. And if you want to just go ahead and like throw some mozzarella in the corners there so I get that nice uh, cheese, you know, cheese skirt that I love. Okay. We can add more. Little mozzarella piles in the corners. Whatever my bonky desires, my bonky gets. It's just, it's more of like an experiment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's just see what happens here. Okay. And while that's cooking, we'll go ahead and... Make our protein pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just here thinking it's really not that terrible. Like, yes, there's mozzarella, yes, there's ricotta, mm -hmm. but it's just chicken marinara, protein pasta. Yeah, it's not terrible. No, this is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. Today, I'm in charge of the noodle going into the pot because if you saw the last video, Bunky had a little bit of a faux pas, as they say. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do my best to not make myself look foolish right now and get all of these in there. Uh-huh. Have I ever said this before? You know what it always reminds me of? What? Well, a, you're like technically not supposed to break the noodles, but they won't fit in this little pot otherwise. But also, you know how you can like break, like there's the things where like the strong man like tears a newspaper in half? Yeah. I feel like I'm like trying to bust a newspaper in half right oh, now. Oh, okay. Keeping it clean. I am so excited. I am so excited. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like dancing over here. <laughs> the, glo the gloves are on. The gloves are on. Y'all. No way. Wow. What? Bunky. This is just like magical cheesy chicken. Oh. Just oh my God. insanity. This is what my dreams are made of <laughs> that wow that looks so good and i think um how you wanted your little cheese on the edges oh yeah it, it did what you wanted how much longer are these noodles i can't <laughs> hardly wait let's see oh they're almost they're done they're looking good yeah my heavens tell me that does not just look incredible we added a little bit of just like fresh parsley, you know, to give it some green. Mm-hmm. And give it kind of like that little bit of herb, but little, wow. A little fresh herb. I just want to try this ricotta. Like, I just want to eat this part right here. Not that. It's absolutely delicious. Oh, my goodness. I am like beside myself for this dinner. <laughs> I got to get my plate. I got to get my plate. This is the result of the mozzarella cheese corner experiment. Oh, that, did you get all of them? Mm, I might. I got probably... <laughs> Three out of four corners, I think. Delightful. I highly recommend the noodles. Mm -hmm. It makes it. If I didn't have the noodles, I'd kind of feel like this was a little bit incomplete. Right. I think though, if I just had this without the noodles, but like a like a nice little salad on the side. Yeah. That that could take it all the way. Yeah. You know, for cross sure. the, cross the finish line for me. This is so good. I don't know if you want to call it deconstructed lasagna, chicken spaghetti, chicken parm, chicken parm. All of the above, it is an excellent mashup that is so good. This is amazing. It took less than 10 minutes to prep, 35 mm -hmm. minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. Dinner is done. One dish. This is some of the best baked chicken we've ever had. Agreed. It's so good. <laughs> okay, now before we get started on this next recipe, I have to say the biggest thank you to Mary Ruth Organics for sponsoring today's video. I am so passionate about this brand. It has become part of just my daily routine. This product in particular is like my hero product. I take it every single morning without fail. If I forget in the morning, then I just take it sometime throughout the day. But it is the Mary Ruth Liquid Morning Multivitamin. Y'all, it tastes so good. Like I look so forward to taking this because it tastes good, but I know that it's good for me. I love that it is 
liquid. There have been very few times in my life that I've been able to stick with like taking a multivitamin every single day. And this one I can do because it's liquid, it's easy to take, and it tastes so good. Anyone that will listen to me, I will tell them about Mary Ruth's products. My mom actually has low iron, so I ordered her this vegan liquid iron from them. Um, this is like before Christmas, maybe even at Thanksgiving. And so she's been taking it and she loves it. Our friends will come over and I'm like, you gotta try Mary Ruth products. I'm not joking, I love them that much. Y'all are gonna laugh, but this is like my Mary Ruth's um, cabinet over here. And I keep it on my little spinny thing. I just ordered a new bottle of my multivitamin so that I do not run out. But you guys know also, I've talked about Mary Ruth before because we've been taking this for now, gosh, probably like six months. But elderberry, I take every single morning, as well as my zinc. And I just put these two in a cup of water. And something that I love is that if you don't wanna put these in water and you like make a smoothie every morning for breakfast, add it to your smoothie. It's just so simple to add these to like your daily routine. There's different ways you can take it. The elderberry tastes so good, you can just swallow that you know as is i just love to have a glass of water in the morning before coffee and so it's easy i can remember and i just put these two in my water you can't really even taste it in there i cannot recommend mary rose products enough i love them you're gonna love them now is the time to get you some because they gave me such a great offer i'm actually going to use my own code <laughs> to order more but if you go in my description box click that link you can use code mro jessica o and you're going to get 20 percent off of all mary rose products and this is on the mary rose website and and on Amazon. Now on Amazon, you wanna make sure that it is sold by Mary Ruth's and not a third party, but 20% off all Mary Ruth products. I cannot wait for you guys to try it. Tell me what you think. We love it and I know you're going to as well. Now for this sheet pan dinner, I'm so excited because it's lots of my favorite things. Chicken, broccoli, potatoes, and we're gonna do like a lemony garlic flavor on here with like some Dijon mustard. It's gonna like pack such a punch and just be so scrumptious but light. And at the end, we're gonna make like a um, healthier style dipping sauce. It's gonna be like Greek yogurt and dill and garlic and lemon and all the things. And oh my gosh, I am like so excited. My mouth is watering so bad. So anyway, for this recipe, I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I just thought that would be the easiest. Um, you can use chicken breast, whatever you have on hand. And we're gonna make a little marinade and I'm gonna pour over our chicken. So we're gonna start with just a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna add some Dijon mustard to this. Nothing, it's already, I mean. <laughs> already your favorite flavors? Just those things, two things together, I'm already excited. I thought you were judging because I wasn't measuring. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, and then we're gonna add a big squeeze of lemon juice. Now, for seasonings, I'm gonna add in a little bit of this ground cumin. Some smoked paprika, you can use regular paprika as well. A little bit of oregano, some dried basil. Does this not already just sound so good? Mm, like it's so fresh and like citrusy and garlicky, I just can't wait. Yeah. And then salt, pepper, garlic. Now you can add onion powder to this as well if you want to. And to kind of balance out all of this like garlic, citrus, savory flavors, we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna use my microplane and grate my garlic in here. Oh man. Good? Bump. Oh my goodness. This is actually incredible because it needs that sugar to balance it out, but that mustard and garlic together with the lemon. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh my gosh, that's so good. If that chicken can absorb that flavor like into it I know. well, and then just what that coating is gonna turn into when Ooh, it bakes. So good. So y'all listen, I'm going to pour like half to three-fourths of this on the chicken. I'm actually gonna save a little bit because I wanna toss our potatoes in it. Okay, so we got our broccoli and potatoes cut up and luckily, I was like, let's go ahead and get that done while our chicken marinates because 
I went back to like read the recipe. We need to cook our potatoes, obviously. <laughs> a little bit longer than everything else. Our pan's like really non-stick, but I'm gonna do just a tiny little drizzle of oil on these just to make sure. Actually, before I do that, the most important step to having really good potatoes is getting all that moisture off there so they get like a nice little crisp crunch to them. The X factor. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of oil and toss them. Okay, a little drizzle of our marinade. That's gonna be so good, Bonk. I know. Of the potato stylings, uh -huh. this, fla this potato flavor is one of my preferences. Well, you know, I like become obsessed with the little gold potatoes. I make them all the time because they're so easy, they cook faster, they're creamy on the inside. Okay, little sprinkle of salt. And then these will cook for about 15 minutes, which will just give our chicken, you know, more time to marinate, which is always good. Just, awesome. just the sizzling in there. I'm gonna toss them a little bit. Oh, Bunky, they're already getting like so crispy on that side. <gasps> Y'all see the crust they're getting on that side? Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so good. See, I think if you use regular potatoes, you do have to kind of cook them longer, but I don't think it was necessary to actually cook these that long, you know? All right, broccoli going down. I'm gonna do a little drizzle of oil on it. I'm gonna do like a little squeeze of lemon. Okay, well then for the broccoli, I'm just gonna put a little bit of my, you know, paper seasoning, the garlic and herb. Oh, that chicken got nice and marinated. I oh, know, look at this. Looking this looking good. good. And then the last one we have here. Well, we have four, do we only do three? Oh, there's four, but this oh. one's just a chicken nugget. <laughs> Okay. I couldn't even see it in there when you were like getting I, it out. That's a chicken nugget right there. Okay, so there's all of our chicken, broccoli, potatoes. I want to eat this potato like right now. The crust, these things got just look amazing. So this is going to go back in there for like... But... What about the, oh! What about our little lemons? Almost forgot the best part. Now for, you know, making this look beautiful, we're just going to add a couple of fresh lemon slices to our little tray here. And you wanna put the rest of the sauce on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is going back in the oven at 400 for like 17 to 20 minutes. The transformation. Wow, that looks so good! That looks delicious. You know what I love about the chicken? What? It's like it's still, like, I'm trying to think of how to say it. Like, you know, that was like all like saucy uh -huh. at first, and then it kind of like- Got baked on there? Yeah, like uh, reduced down. There we go. See, I could just eat that whole sheet pan. Like, I think I'm a sheet pan kind of girl. Those are the best potatoes I've ever had. I'm mm. gonna say it. They're the best ones I've ever made at home. They really are. They're so, they're like, it's almost like a uh, roasted marshmallow because it's like so yeah. like creamy on the inside, but then it's a little bit crispy on the outside. I can't get over it. It's like they dissolve in your mouth, but the outside has this like perfect texture, but the flavor of those potatoes are insane. That little marinade concoction, mm -hmm. I've got to like write that down because I want to start using that on chicken all the time. Seriously. And potatoes, obviously. Yeah. But for this sauce, I want to tell y'all, so you know how Monkey and I are trying to be a lot healthier this year. So if you want to make this sauce with sour cream, then you can do that. And I think it'll be really, really good, but we're going to be <laughs> a little bit healthier. And so we're going to use a plain non fat Greek yogurt as our little base layer of our sauce okay and honestly we've used Greek yogurt before like in the past to make things and you really cannot taste a big difference especially once you start putting all this flavor in here yeah. you won't be able to tell it's just like the uh component that holds all the flavor you're adding to it together you know yeah because it's still got that tang and texture like sour cream yes so to this I'm gonna add just a little pinch of cumin Carrying that throughout. And then, I feel like this is what's gonna make it so amazing. I'm gonna add in there some dill, which I love dill. Kind of bringing the ranch dressing vibe to the party. A little bit. Y'all know I love um, 
this go-to garlic. A lot of y'all have asked me about this. So Trisha is, um, she's also a YouTuber. Her and her husband RV full-time. Their YouTube channel is Keep Your Daydream. I'm sure a lot of you guys follow them and love them. And she loves to cook and has her own seasoning blend. So that's where I got this. We actually have one more of her seasonings. It's the um, Sweet Heat. Sweet Heat. That one's really good as well. You know, I just love supporting people who like create their own things. I just think, you know, it's so important for us to do that. I mean, that what, what you got in your hand there though. Just that. It is delicious. Yeah, it smells so good. Now, to carry the lemon, you know, flavor throughout, I'm going to add a big squeeze of lemon juice in here. What's in there? The what other magic do you have going on? The good stuff is in here, okay? Oh, look at the rind on that Fresh bad boy. Farm. We're close to being done with this, and when we get done with it, because you know how, like, next week is going to be so cold? Yeah. Like, we have several days of, like, below freezing temperatures I'm in, here. I'm envisioning that Parmesan rind going in some in a soup. tomato sauce of some sort. Yeah, I want to make, like, a really yummy soup next week, and I'm going to put this in there. What if we made, um, like, Italian wedding soup? Yum. You know what we have? Minestrone. We have that whole big bag of cheese tortellini. Yes, we do. A good amount of this into my sauce. There's some wood in there? Oh yeah. There's like a little uh there's a little pile of Parmesan fluffies growing down oh, there. Yes. Oh my gosh, I could just eat the sauce. Can you imagine that potato that we just ate going into that sauce? <laughs> Isn't that what the sauce? I'm gonna like not be able to like sleep tonight because I'm gonna need to make more of this. The sauce is for dunking in, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah chicken and potato in that? It's like, who needs ranch dressing anymore sure. when you got this going? It's going to be good. Okay, and lastly, I think I'm just going to do one clove because we have a lot of garlic going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to grate one clove of garlic into my sauce. Do we need just like a crack of black pepper in oh, there? Oh, yes, funky. I forgot about you. Yeah, you get I got you. I'm also going to stir this for us. Oh, okay. Perfect. Right? You need a little bit more than that. More, though, I, don't, yeah. I don't want to overpower. We just okay, want a, a subtle. You know, I'll be the first to admit. Sometimes when I'm in charge of the black pepper edition, I get a little heavy handed. You do? I really do. You love black Some, pepper. Well, sometimes, but it's sometimes it's too much. But, but you know, Bunky doesn't eat a lot of extra salt. He doesn't like extra salt things. So I think that's why you go for black pepper because it's kind of like your salt. That's right. I would say this is a plate of perfection. It is pretty, it's well balanced. It's gonna be amazing. We tried some of this dressing or dip, whatever you wanna call it. Wow, 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 wow. Like I just want to always have this on hand and use it almost like in place of ranch because it's crazy good like i could eat that on a thousand things okay so definitely for sure that it's amazing already tasted the potatoes and broccoli amazing so i can't wait to try this chicken and chicken's amazing is it like tender and juicy it's so tender full of flavor right because it's chicken thigh yeah so i feel like using the chicken thighs it like Keeps it really like tender in there. Mm -hmm. You could totally do like chicken tenderloins or chicken breast. Mm. The mar the marinade that it got did it really pull into it real good. Mm -hmm. The marinade is delicious. Like I told y'all, it's like punchy but balanced. That little bit of sugar was like exactly what it needed to kind of cut through it. Oh, yeah. It's not heavy. It's not like too savory. It's just like literal perfection. This meal is perfect. But these potatoes. It is the yellow baby gold potatoes, okay? I am telling y'all what. <laughs> coming from There a, is nothing better. Coming from a potato expert, you can trust this opinion. Those are the best potatoes ever. Baby gold ever. potatoes are where it's at. Mm -hmm. Both of these dinners were so good. I hope you guys try them and love them. I am all for like a good, easy weeknight meal. And I love that these were so like delicious and full of flavor, but still kind of on that healthier side. So y'all will have to try them. I'll have both recipes linked down below. Also, do not forget to check out Mary's products down below as well. 20% off all products. I love them. You're going to love them. And as always, if you're new, we'd love for you to join our channel. So before you leave, hit that subscribe button, give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.